The weather season is here and you can expect to hear storm sirens tested, but not every day. Most towns test their sirens once a week, usually on Friday at 11 o'clock in the morning. IT mates Richard Essex has found a Tipton County town that tests their siren every day. The town of Sharpsville has been testing their storm warning siren every day for as long as anybody can remember. Every day at noon, the quiet of this little town is crushed by this old and very loud siren. The siren of Sharpsville comes to life for its daily test. Rodney Hopper lives just a couple of doors away from the siren. Today's test read over 100 decibels on his decibel reading device. So depending on who you ask in the town, um, the thought process or the methodology, whatever, however you want to explain it, would be that the, uh, it would let the farmers know in the field from quite some time ago that it was noon and it was time to come in for chow. One of the Hopper's neighbors prepared a 63-page document on why the town council should stop the daily siren testing. The author of the document asked that we not use his name in this story. But according to the document, more than 70% of the town is opposed to the daily disruption. The document also claims that the activation of the noon siren does not fall within federal and state siren guidelines. Medical guidelines suggest sounds above 85 decibels can damage your hearing. Well, normal, normal conversational tone, what did they say, about 50 to 60 decibels. Um, a gunshot is 140. The daily siren test can also lead to complacency. People tend to ignore warning sirens that occur frequently. And costs. Testing the siren every day will increase maintenance costs. When the document was presented to the town council, it was not well received. They mocked him, and they laughed at him. And they asked if anybody else thought it was causing hearing loss, and then they quickly dismissed him. Robert Kincaid has lived in Sharpsville his entire life. He isn't bothered too much by the noise. He said the siren used to alert the volunteer firemen. Now it's used for severe weather and tornado warnings. They've gone north and they've gone south. I can't say a tornado actually ever went through Sharpsville. The nearest one may have been a mile and a half north. The Indiana Department of Homeland Security suggests that cities and towns test their sirens at least once a month during severe weather months, and they suggest the time should be Friday at 11 o'clock. In Tipton County, Richard Essex, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.